this is unusual. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, granite. The granite came from Minnesota, from the quarry. You know, it's all American made, if you would. And it's just a special thing. I have a, I have a special affinity to this because uh, I, I try not to get emotional. But you know, I, uh, of the 343 firefighters that were killed that day, I worked with half of them and knew half of them. So every time I come here, I say, brothers, this is for you. Because I personally had my hands involved. I was very happy that I was asked to participate this so many years ago. It's almost 20 years that I was asked to do it. And uh, I come here all the time and uh, to pay my respects to not only the firefighters, but everybody that fought so we could be here today. Well, I was approached by uh, Commission, Collier County Commissioner Fred Coyle about helping them build a lasting memorial to remember all our service members that have served and everybody that was killed on 9-11. So the county sent out an appeal to artists throughout the United States, and one of them was from a artist that was living in Massachusetts at the time. His name was Gerald Ledoux, and he sent in the concept of this beautiful memorial. It's a 40 foot long waving American flag, 13 feet high with an eagle on the top of the mast. The walkway is in the shape of the Pentagon. He did it one night in pencil and got up the next morning and finished it. it took many years, but it was dedicated in 2016, the 15th anniversary of 9-11. And when you stop and think of the atrocities in Norhauser, and this was made with scraps of their clothes, if they were caught with this, they would have been killed immediately because they were sent there with no food, no water, no medical attention. To me, this flag is very special. And I came here in 2009, it was here, but they had it sort of sitting up, not displayed anywhere. And I said, you know what? That flag should be displayed here. It's been here 35 years, and we looked at it, and I said, when you see that flag and you see all of this work that was done, these people used straps of their clothing, and you see the horrors of Norhauser, it showed me that hope overcame fear. These people believed that America was still coming to save them, and the hope to make this flag saved them from the fear of knowing that they were going to die eventually. And to me, this is the most powerful statement. They still believe America was coming to save them.